And I thank you for joining me today on a very gloomy, dull, dark day here. So hope you're all well. I hope you're all wrapped up and ready to get beading. Uh, today we are making beautiful um, miracle beads. We call them trellis necklaces. So we're going to be using some split rings, a little bit of um, rat tail cord, and we're going to make some really lovely, bright, colourful designs. They're very, very sweet, very summery, and just very colourful. So I showed you a little sneaky peek during the last live. Look at them. They are so gorgeous. I'm hoping my light picks them up because, as I say, they remind me of sweeties. They're just so, so bright, so colourful, and so lovely. And I'll be honest, I'm loving them layered up. So um, if you can... I would suggest you get more than one kit today. We've got a fantastic offer on for you. So good morning to Tina and good morning to Sharon. Lots of you coming in already. I'm trying not to spend too long today showing you the website um, because it, it's going to take me probably, well, I think it's going to take the full hour of me making. Um, and you know me, I will probably lose concentration chit-chatting and I'll put the wrong thing on the wrong strand. But it's really easy to fix if you make any mistakes and it's a brilliant beginner make. So if you're looking for a nice, easy project to do, if you particularly love the crisscross bracelets that we did, this one is definitely going to be for you. Um, Tina says, oh, lovely. Good morning to Camille. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. And she gives you all a wave. Elaine says, good morning. Lucy says, good morning. Anne says, hello. Judith says, hello. We've got lots of people in already, which is fantastic. So how are you today? Um, I see C Celia also says, it's cold and miserable in Bolton. Um, Rachel says, good morning, everybody. Sunshine, but cold in South Yorkshire. So Rachel seems to be getting all the sunshine lately. Uh, good morning to Hannah. She says, morning, everybody. Um, Alison says, hi again from Cape Town. Hello to you, Alison. Um, Tina says, we know how to manoeuvre the website by now. Crack on. Well, I will show you them because I want to show you all the colours on the website, Tina. Um, good morning to Anne. She says she's ordered already, which is fantastic. Um, right, shall we just shall we pop over to the website? People know where to find us. We are on YouTube. We are on Facebook. We're on Kitty Robinson Designs on Facebook page too. So hopefully, last live, we didn't have any issues and we didn't get kicked off Facebook. So fingers crossed, it stays okay. Hello to you, Pamela. How are you doing? Janet says, windy and chilly, but dry in, Mil in Milton Keynes. Hello, everybody. Right, okay. So I'm going to take you over to the website. Um, as Tina has agreed, we know how to get onto this now. So I'm going to share my screen and take you over to totallybeads.co.uk. You can click in the categories and you can find the video tutorials there. Or you can go on this gorgeous big logo at the top here, which takes you into video tutorials. So this is called Miracle Trellis. So it's like a trellis as we're stepping up with the um, split rings to make a really lovely kind of wibbly wobbly effect, I suppose. It's gorgeous. We're also gonna be graduating those miracle beads today. So you're gonna get three colors in two different sizes and they are all absolutely beautiful. They are a bargain price for you today. They should have been 15 pounds. They are £12.50. Now, you're going to probably end up with lots left over. You'll have loads of the rat tail left because you get a really large hank in there. And you're probably going to have some split rings. In my design, um, I'm using probably about 72 split rings. And we're going to give you two packets of split rings. I think you get 120 in each pack. So you'll probably have more than enough to make a matching bracelet to go with your gorgeous necklace, if you wish. So this one is the burnt um, okra, I think that's pronounced. And it's got some gorgeous kind of yellows and brown colours in it. It's very, very pretty. Really easy clasp 
to attach your necklace on um, and they're just really straightforward gorgeous little makes so in your kit you're getting your six millimeter split rings and you're getting two packs of them you're getting one hank of your rat tail cord and you're getting three packs of your miracle beads as i say in three different colors and you're getting the eight millimeter and the six millimeter as well as your gorgeous flower metal button um i think you're getting two of those as well so definitely going to have enough um to make a necklace and a bracelet you can make them longer if you wish i quite like wearing these quite high up so they sit just on my collar line um, on my collarbone and I think they look very lovely there so £12.50 and we've got as I say I think six colours for you to choose from today this is Savannah Sunset now this is the one I'm going to be demoing with you today it's got yellows oranges reds in there really really gorgeous little bit of a carnival feel I think I can see you walking down the beach on this one. So again, you're getting all of the things in there that you need for just £12.50. We've got this beautiful one, which we've called Spring Has Sprung. So you're getting, um, it, it's like an apple green, I think, um, this one here. You're also going to get like a little zesty lime green and a, like a pale yellow in there as well. I mean, you can tell by the photo there, Miracle Beads have got the most amazing sheen to them if you've never used them before. And I think a lot of you have, then you'll know how gorgeous these beads are. So as I say, you're getting three packs, three different colors in two different sizes. So you can have plenty to work with there. We've also got Storm Mist. I think this is my favorite. It's beautiful. You're getting a dark blue, a light sky blue, and a gray in those. So I think that is a perfect name. Very much Storm Mist colorway for you. And that's gonna have the gorgeous little silver flower um, button that you can make your clasp with. We've also got Sweet Pea, which is gorgeous. They are a bright pink, um, a light pink, and a gorgeous kind of silvery white colour. I will show you these down on the mat. If you're wanting to know the specific colours that we have in there, we they're down the bottom for you. So it's, it's a fuchsia and a white, and they're very, very gorgeous. And then we also have for you this absolutely beautiful violet purple. This is a close favourite of mine as well. I think it obviously, you know, depending on the day, what colours I'm drawn to, but these ones are absolutely gorgeous. You're getting your lilacs, your dark purples and your violets in that kit for you today. So they are your beautiful, beautiful colours for just £12.50. You're getting an absolute bargain, I think, in there. So take yourself over to the website, pop them in your basket, and make the most of these gorgeous makes that we've got today. So let me have a little look at your comments. Uh, Tina says she's looking forward to this one, um, which is fantastic. Um, Brenda says, um, morning, Springfield, Illinois. So thank you so much for joining me. Lucy has also shared the link there for you. So today we are doing the Miracle Trellis Necklace. Very straightforward, easy make. Um, Dorothy's here. Hello to you. Um, oh, I'm scrolling back up the comments because I've missed a lot. Joanne says, good morning, Natalie. Good morning, all. I've been watching intently while wrapping elf ears. Joanne, please share a picture of them. They are, they sound amazing. Um, I have a friend who went to her World Book Day. She's an English teacher and she wanted to have um, like an elfin tiara. So I made her one of those up um, and I did think she was missing her elf ears. Um, 
Sue says it is bright in stains when the dustbin woke her up this morning, but it's overcast and it's gloomy now. Good morning to Gwen. Uh, Janet says it's windy and chilly where she is. Um, we've got loads of you in this morning. Anne, I hope you're feeling okay. You've been a little bit under the weather. She says she needs some feeding inspiration. So you're in the right place for that, my love. Um, Jackie says, good morning to you all. Um, Pamela is sending you love. She says, I hope it's not affecting you too much. I'm wishing you a speedy recovery. Camille says, oh, lovely. Just my colours. Uh, good morning to Mina. Um, good morning to Lucy again. She says she's liking the sweet pea. Uh, Paula saying good morning. Rachel's asking, where's Joe? This is definitely her project. Joe is a member of our group who is obsessed with Miracle Beads to the point that do we call her Miss Rainbow, Miss Miracle? Um, yeah, she's loving them. So I'm sure she'll catch up if she can't find us straight away this morning. Good morning to Nicole. She says, good morning, Natalie and fellow beaders. Paula is also loving these. Um, Diane's gone over to Kitty's Facebook, which is fine. You can find us somewhere, everywhere, hopefully. Um, Mandy is here, as is Bridget, who is all the way in Germany. So good morning to you, Bridget. Good morning to Joanne. She says she'd love to see the tiara, so I will show you a picture of that. The thing is, I had to model it because you can't take a picture of them without you on your head. Um, so the only good pictures I've got, I've got my face in it, unfortunately. Um, it's dull and rainy in Glasgow in Scotland, says Janet. Uh, windy in Wales. Mandy's watching from a caravan. And Lucy says, Joe is Miss Rainbow. I named her when she first joined. So let me show you these colours down on the mat. Look at them. They are so, so vibrant. Um, and Lucy says, and Natalie, you're Miss Gemstone. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. The best nickname I've ever had. Right. So gorgeous, gorgeous necklaces for you today and the most beautiful colours. So this one, I cannot really pronounce this one. Burnt okra, I think it's pronounced. So you're getting the most gorgeous tones in there. It's so beautiful. I will pop these to the side very quickly. We've also got this one, which is our Savannah Sunset. This is the one I'm demoing for you today. The reason I chose this one is not only is it beautiful and gorgeous and bright, but it's going to be easier for me to... I always have a little mantra in my head when I'm beading, when I'm using mixed colours, and it's easier for me to go yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, orange then try and decipher um, and name the tones probably incorrectly. Say, for example, I'll be doing apple green on this one, which is, isn't what it's called. And um, so that one is the gorgeous oranges and sunsetty one for you. We also have the beautiful, beautiful, oh, I've got it a little tangled up there. Here is our gorgeous, spring has sprung this one is perfectly named so as you can see we're just going to add a little clasp onto there which is going to make it really easy to put on lucy says i like these more than i thought i would um, and camille's very happy with the color choices today dorothy says oh that's pretty we also have, they're just so gorgeous, this one, which I just love. This is, is it Storm Mist, which is your kind of blue colourway. Again, we're matching the split rings for you as well. So they will all be beautiful and tonal and they will all match. Dorothy is liking the clasp. They're really gorgeous. And you can add little tassels onto the end like I've done here if you wish. Charlotte says, beautiful colours. We've got the Sweet Pea, which I think is probably going to be Lucy's favourite. A Little Miss Pink. Rachel says, ooh, the purple. Rachel, we've got there, yeah. <laughs> and just, as I say, the, the shine and the sparkle, the way they're coated, it, to me, it looks like there's a bead within a bead. It's just really really I love a miracle bead they are so lovely to use 
Janet says, so much choice. There we go, Rachel, there is the purple for you. And we've called that one violet purple because you're getting your lilacs, your violets, and your pretty purples in there. Paula says, oh, I love the sweet pea too. Yes, Tina, jeans and a white t-shirt, these would look gorgeous with. Sheila says, morning everyone, very late this morning, meeting a friend for lunch, I'll have to catch up later, I love the colours of this project. Thank you, Sheila. There is something, I think, for everybody in here, um, and you can catch us up whenever you have chance to. I hope you have a lovely, lovely catch up with your friend. So look at them, aren't they just stunning? Lucy says, the only thing I don't have is those clasps. If you need to, Lucy, they are sold on the website. So if you've already got little bits and bobs in, you can just top up and add the things that you need for the project. Um, I would suggest get two large eye needles as well. It will speed you up a little bit. Paula says, um, and the purple, well, I better get the three in my basket then. Do it, Paula, you won't be disappointed. Um, Debbie, she says she doesn't own a single miracle bead. Well, Debbie, get a couple of these and you'll have a variety of two gorgeous sizes. We've got the eight millimeter and the six millimeter in these to give you a lovely graduated effect. Celia says, I think the burnt okra and Savannah sunset would be a nice mix and match. Oh, they've just fallen into the basket along with storm mist. Thank you, Celia. Um, and Helen says, was just thinking of doing the same, but I don't have the split rings, but loads of jump rings. You can do them with the jump rings. Um, the split rings, I think, are better. Your jump rings probably going to be, you know, you're going to have to make sure they're all closed. They might be a little bit more fiddly. Dorothy wants them all. Um, and I think, you know, if you do need to just buy yourself little bits, then you can do. But for the price of these today, for £12.50, I would I would definitely consider getting the kit personally. But as you can see, we've called them trellis because they have these lovely little look in them between the little bit of the rat tail showing and your gorgeous split rings too. So let's get making. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get everything out in your pack. You're going to get three different colours and you're gonna get two different sizes. So I'm gonna start off with the smaller ones. All I need to do is decide what order I would like to put them in. So for me, I've gone yellow, orange, and red, but you'll have lots of different shades to work with then. So you can mix them up and you can choose what looks gorgeous together. You're also gonna get two packets of your split rings. And I say, you're not gonna need all these. I think you get 120 of them in a pack. You're getting two packs and for one necklace, I've used, uh, well, in this design, I've used 72, I think. So you can make them longer, you can make them smaller. I did add up, yeah, it's a 16 inch necklace that I've made here. But you can also pop on little bit of extenders in terms of, when you're coming to tie that final knot on your clasp, if you want to make it a little bit longer or you want that size adjustable, you can just add those extra knots and loops into there. Oh, Sue says, I made a necklace for a teddy once. Well, that sounds lovely. Hopefully I'll be able to make a full size necklace for you today in terms of time, but we shall see. So take a piece of your rat tail. I have cut this. Um, to about a metre, so an arm's length, a very generous big arm's length. I always think it's important to have more than it is less because you can cut it off if you have too much. I want to be able to tie my clasp at the end with ease. So I would do, I would do over a metre really. And you're getting so much on your hanker rat tail. You can afford to be a little bit generous with this. So I'm going to take my little gorgeous, doesn't want to stay in my hand, fingers and thumbs today, my gorgeous little flower clasp. And I'm just going to thread that through. Look at that. It went through with absolute ease. I haven't even prepped my thread, there's there's no 
um, nail varnish on the rat tail. There's no needle there, but you can pop your needle through if that's easier. And we're just going to find the middle point. So I'm bringing my two ends together. So my gorgeous little flower button is just sitting on the middle of those threads. And I'm just going to do a little overhand knot. So I pop it in between my fingers and bring it through like so. And now I'm just going to push it up using my thumb and my finger. So this knot is close to the top of that button, but it's still got a little bit of wiggle room. There you go. As easy as that. Now I say it's got a little bit of wiggle room. You want to be able to move the clasp when we're getting it in to the knot at the end to fasten it. And that's how easy it is to attach. Our oh, Bridget says, such a lovely project again, Natalie. This is really lovely. Okay, so I'm going to lay it out. As I say, use a lot of your rat tail. It's a little bit fiddly at the beginning because obviously you've got these two very long lengths then. And it's going to be hard for me to show you in the screen. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on one of my long eye needles onto each end of my rat tail. Good morning, Joy. And that's just going to make things really easy for me. And then all I'm going to do is start picking out which colour I want to put, put on first. As I say, I'm going to use the 6mm. So I'm just going to thread the 6mm onto the top a split ring onto both and then I'm going to use another which will be my orange onto the bottom and a split ring so we are literally going top split ring bottom split ring top split ring bottom split ring onto both and that's going to give us this lovely little trellis design in our lots of colors that we're just going to be uh what's the word Swapping, not swapping, integrating, mixing. We're going to have a pattern repeat is basically what I'm trying to say. So just to speed me up a little bit, I have started. And I say I've started. I'm not, not really sped myself up much because I wanted to get these six mil on first if I could. So I've got my needles on both ends. I'm going to lay them flat on my table. And I'm going to just pop that there at the moment, just so I can see which is the top and which is the bottom. So I'm doing the order of yellow, orange, red. So whichever one I'm up to next is the red. I'm going to just open these up and get them all over the place. So it's easy to work with. And I'm going to open up my split rings as well. These are the six millimeter split rings. 120 in the pack so you're getting loads okay so i've put one on the bottom i'm starting on the top again picking out my color and popping one of my miracle beads onto that top strand and then bringing both of my needles together and popping my split ring onto both and bringing that up and then separating them out a little bit again so I can see which is the top and which is the bottom and now I've done my red and back to my yellow this time I'm popping it on the bottom one and then a split ring onto both so we're just alternating I think that was the word I was looking for alternating You will have to bear with me today. My back has not been very good at all. Um, I couldn't really stand up straight yesterday. So I'm okay when I'm sitting. I've got my cushion on my chair. Um, so maybe, maybe it's just life's way of telling me I need to just sit down today and get making. I think sitting at the computer sometimes doesn't help i might need to invest in a better chair so i've done my top i've put my split ring on both 
I'm now just doing the bottom. And I think it's easy if I lay my colours out like I have here in the order that I'm attaching them on because then I don't really forget which one I'm doing. I'm just picking them up one by one. Each time I put the split ring onto both, I'm just separating out those strands of the rat tail just so I can clearly see which is the top and which is the bottom. So because I've just put on the bottom, I'm now just going to pop on to the top one. <laughs> uh, thank you very, very much, Ruth. She says, please hit the like button and say thank you. Show us some love. So what have I missed? Um, staggered, Camille. That is probably a good word that I was looking for as well. Rachel says, oh dear, I've ordered three different colours and blame it on the purple ones. I mean, you can mix these as well if you want to. We've already put three different colours for you to get that in each kit. But if you're getting more than one kit, you know, you might want to put the sweet peas with the violets. You might want to add in a little bit of that stormy sky, those blues. Um, you might want to do a rainbow one. I mean, you've got enough colours here. You've got reds, yellows, orange, greens, blues, purples, violets. You know, there's you could do yourself a full rainbow one if you wanted. And you can just keep adding those different colours. Now I'm thinking that I've missed a trick there. But probably not. I have enough trouble trying to remember the order. I'm putting on three colours, never mind seven. But that would look amazing. So onto the bottom. Split ring going onto both. You don't have to use your long guy needles, but honestly, I do promise you, if I don't have to use a tool and I can just use my hands, I will do. With this, it's far easier, I think, personally, to pop a needle onto each end and then you're not fiddling about with them. You can pick them up and put them down easy enough. <laughs> you're all giving me words, which um, thank you for helping me with my vocabulary today. I'm going to drink more coffee and hopefully... Um, I mean, I know what I'm talking about, but the important thing is, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, Sylvia says, good evening from South Australia. It's 7 p.m. there. Well, good morning to you. It is nearly half past 10 in the morning here, Sylvia. Um, so I do need to speed up a little bit. Cheryl, no, you don't get the needles with the kit. You can add them in. There's, they're usually just under the bottom of the description. It will say um, you can add them in your basket. I'm not too sure, but I know they're, they're not expensive at all for, for what they are and how much you will use them. As you can tell by this one, which is very wiggly and very bent out of shape. It still does the job. I can still get my thread or my rat tail or whatever I'm using through it. Um, but that just goes to show how much I've used that needle. I've used it for probably about 100 projects. <laughs> so I've got yellow, I'm onto the orange and I'm doing it onto the top. And all I'm gonna just do is cast my eye over it every now and again and make sure I've got this lovely little up and down motion. Um, I'm not too concerned if I get my colour order slightly wrong, um, but I do want to make sure I've got one on the top, one on the bottom, split ring over both. Because it's that that's going to give us this like trellis look. Sue is saying there's some naughty purples to Rachel. They are very pretty. She says, I think I will need a trailer hooking onto the back of the caravan at this rate. <laughs> Rachel, um, just, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, fit them all in the caravan. You have to get a roof rack as well. Dorothy says, lovely gifts to make for my classroom assistants. Gorgeous summer colours. Thanks, Natalie. Dorothy, you are most welcome. 
I think everybody would love these. I don't think it matters what age you are. Um, I think, you know, they're beautiful, they're bright, they're straightforward to do. They don't take too long if you're not chit-chatting. <laughs> and it's just something that you can do. Um, you know, be tray on your lap. You can be watching the television in the background or listening to the radio or a podcast or whatever it is that you like to do. Just separating those out. So I've got my yellow, now my orange. Bridget says, I once made a bracelet in this design. It turned out just lovely. We have done um, a criss, we called it the crisscross bracelet. I think it was, I think it was that one. We did do a bracelet in this design. We weren't using the two sizes and we weren't using the miracle beads. Um, so it is different, but it's the same method and the same process. You're just making it longer um, and graduating down those large beads in the middle. So let's have a little count. I tend to put on 25 of the six mil miracle beads to start off with. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Well, isn't that just, you know, lucky? <laughs> so I'm going to pop on my last miracle bead and that is going on to my bottom thread and I will be finishing off in the beautiful yellow. Split ring onto both. Right now, I'm going to add on the next size. So I'm just going to rotate them over because I will be using those again in a little while. And I'm going to keep doing my same colours. So I've done the yellow in the 6 mil. I'm now going to do the orange, but I'm using the 8 millimetre rounds. And I'm going to put about 23 of these on. As I say, I don't know how speedy I will be. Hopefully, I'll get to make a full one. If I have to make it a little bit lopsided and not put as many on at the end, then so be it. So, again, gorgeous miracle bead. Lovely large hole means it just threads on with absolute ease. So I'm repeating that process exactly the same way. I added onto the bottom, so I'm now doing the top in the next alternating color, split ring onto both. Sue said she was thinking about a rainbow one. She's got lots of miracle beads in a summer house. Well, whatever you do, whatever colors, whatever design, please let me see. I would love to see what you come up with. Hannah was also thinking a rainbow one. I missed a trick there, didn't I? I did have the idea, just not quick enough. <laughs> Lucy says, your needle looks like mine. One of them is perfectly straight. This one is not. But as I say, it still does the job. It just goes to show how sturdy they are. Um, and how fantastic they are because they just, you know, they last a long time. The only issue is when you've wiggled it and bent it like mine is it starts to open up a little bit. So it's easy to get things through, but sometimes it might slip off. If it does, just pop it back through slide it towards the end. So I've done the bottom, I'm now doing the top in the next colour, which is my yellow one. 
<laughs> Paula says, oops, three sets have fell into my basket. How did that happen, Paula? <laughs> Again, bargain price today. What are they? £12.50. An absolute bargain. Split ring onto both. I think I'm going to probably add less of the large ones in the middle here because I am concerned about time. I mean, it is just exactly the same process, so you're not missing any of the steps. But I don't know whether you have places to be today. <laughs> if you haven't, just stay tuned and um, we shouldn't run over too much. So I just keep separating them out again, adding on my next colour. Popping them back together to add on my split ring. So a split ring is like a jump ring, but it's like um, a longer one, I suppose. It's like two jump rings. together so when you make a jump ring you kind of coil your wire around and then you give it a trim this is cut so you've got that full ring in the middle and then two either side um as i say you could probably try this with the jump rings but you're gonna have to make sure that they're fully closed um and i think having that extra kind of coil in your split ring just makes these look really really lovely just adds that little feature on elaine says she's late to the show she loves the color this is the sunset colorway um what was it called specifically yeah savannah sunset so it's got your gorgeous reds oranges and yellows in this one but there are six beautiful colours for you to choose from today. And we've all been discussing how we think we'd like to mix and match the colours. Um, if you want to, you can always just add a kit in and then more of your miracle beads. You can buy your miracle beads in your six millimetre and your eight millimetre separately and add those into your basket as well if you wish. Um, Obviously, the cord is put in for each different colour. So you've got your lilac coloured ratile with your violet combination. You've got gorgeous browns with your burnt okras. You've got a lovely light green colour with the start of spring or spring has sprung. Um, you've got a lovely white colour with the blues pinks with your pinks and of course with this one i'm using the red rat tail so all those colors are picked out for you and the split rings and um your clasp for your finding is also matched lovely for you Helen is asking, can you use normal jump rings as I don't have the split rings? You can try, Helen, yes. Um, I think it would probably give you the same look. But as I say, please make sure that your jump rings are fully closed because you don't want them to s slip off, I suppose. Um, you don't want your rat tail to, to come through because that will stop giving that lovely kind of trellis, wibbly, wobbly look. So I'm up to red. I'm going to go back to my yellow on the top one. Elaine is asking what size are the beads I'm using? So you've got two different sizes in three different colours. So we've got the larger ones here, which are your eight millimetre rounds. And your smaller ones are the six millimetre rounds. And that's just going to give us this kind of graduated effect when it comes down to the middle of your necklace. 
Mandy says, could you use tiger tail for making your earrings? Yeah, I suppose you could. Um, obviously, your tiger tail is much thinner. So, um, yeah, I guess providing you're using your larger miracle beads, the 8mm miracle beads, it will still fit nice against those split rings. Um, try it and see. I don't see why not. And, you know, you you could always just use the miracle beads on um an eye pin and maybe have the split ring in between and add another one on top and do them that way so your split ring would sit kind of flat over the bead rather this kind of crisscross kind of effect Lucy has shared the link again for you today. So thank you very much for that, Lucy. Today we are making beautiful trellis necklaces using miracle beads and a little bit of rat tail. Oh, fabulous. Elaine has also ordered a bundle. Right, where am I up to? I'm doing a red one on the top. So usually I would put 23 of the large ones in, but as I say, I'm a bit concerned for time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, 11. Let's make this part slightly smaller. So it's still going to curve. I'll just be making a very short necklace. So it's going to start to curve around like this. So I would like to put a few more on. I'm going to finish, I think, with the orange so that larger one's matching. Popping them both on to the split rings. put two on the same one there haven't I if that happens so you wanted to make a mistake just to show you how easy it is to fix <laughs> all you need to do is take off your needles and just take off whatever you've put on the wrong one so all I did there was I put another miracle bead on the top one and I should have been doing the bottom one so it really doesn't matter. Nothing is fixed in place at this point. Nothing is fixed until you tie your final knot, really. And, you know, you can always undo that as well if you need to. So a really kind make. If anything goes wrong, you pop the wrong colour on. You pop it on the wrong thread of rat tail. It doesn't matter. It's a quick fix. <laughs> Elaine says, I thought my needles got bent. Well, I do try and look after them. I keep the little packet that they come in and I always put them back in. But I don't know what's happened to that one. It's either got squished amongst all of my gorgeous beads or something or I've been a little heavy handed with it or something. <laughs> Paula says I'll be on a shopping ban if I carry on you'll be like Lucy and me you could put yourself on a shopping ban and then it's just more temptation um and then you just feel guilty when when you fail and you buy something <clears throat> I always think oh, I'll, I'll I'll hold off I won't buy anything else this month and then I see a bargain and I'm like totally beads will put an offer on and I'll just think, well, I can't miss out on that because I'm going to need it anyway. So I might as well buy it now while I'm getting this amazing discount than wait. Because then I'll just be more annoyed that I didn't buy it at the time when the discount was on. <laughs> so, you know, 
Be kind to yourself. I know life is very expensive at the moment. I'm, um, I have a smart meter and, you know, I kind of wish I didn't because I'm watching it like a hawk lately. Um, husband gets a shower and I'm like, do you know how much that is an hour? Every time I put the kettle on, I'll go and have a little nose and see how much it is to have my heating on for an hour or whatever. It's, it's expensive times, isn't it? So I think having a hobby like this is, you know, it's not too expensive, especially if you can, you know, make things that you sell or you gift. I save, I like to think I save a fortune on gifts because I end up um, gifting a lot of the makes that I create, which means when it comes to someone's birthday, I haven't got to spend any money necessarily because I have something that I know that they like that is unique. Um, so that's how I justify my craft obsession. <laughs> Camille says time doesn't matter. Thank you, Camille. Um, I mean, it is just, it's very much a pattern repeat regardless of what sizes that you're adding on. But I am concerned with time because it's 10 to 11 and we usually just do an hour. So where am I up to and how many have I got? Let's, let's finish with an orange. What I will probably do is I will show you how to finish it and then I will unpick it and then finish it again properly later by adding the extra ones on that I need. Okay, so top, both with the split ring, bottom, top, both with the split ring, bottom. So I'm doing my yellow, I'm going to finish with my orange. So this will create that lovely curve. And what I often like to do is just give it the little shape and the look. So now when I'm coming back up, they're gonna be in the same colors. Doesn't matter if they're not, but on this side, they'll be coming up in the same, same way as that one. So I'm gonna do split ring onto both. Opening them out. And then I'm going to swap back from my larger 8 mil to my smaller 6. Still in the same order, yellow, orange, red. So I've done my orange and back to my 6 mil red, which is going to go along the bottom. <laughs> Lucy says, I'd rather be watching you than housework. I'll stay all day. Right, okay, well, I'm going to blame you, Lucy. I'm going to say I haven't washed the bedding like I intended to. I haven't brushed, I haven't mopped up and I've not done the dishes. I've not tidied up all the children's toys that we have because our house is like it's like a museum for dinosaurs. Um, because I've had to make sure Lucy was okay and she knew exactly how many miracle beads I needed to add on to my gorgeous trellis necklace. <laughs> I've got so much to do. I don't think my back's going to let me do it today. I've told you I'm going to have to just sit and carry on making all day. I do have to go to the post office though as well. Which is one of those chores that I just, you know, I'd rather do without. And I need to go to the shop. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Elaine's got no places to be today either. That's great. <laughs> Brenda's just put her orders in. Fantastic. Brenda, what colours did you go for? Elaine, have I answered your question already? Or are you also ask it if you can use a jump ring? You can use a jump ring instead of a split ring. I think it would work in terms of the look that you're going for. Um, you just have to make sure that your jump rings are closed properly 
Um, you don't have to worry about that with the split ring because they're a lot more fiddly to open up because they've got more than one of those coils on it. Um, so you can try it, yeah. I don't think it would give you too much of a different look. Um, if you wanted the same look, then you could add two jump rings on in between. You'd obviously be using a lot more. Um, providing it's quite taut between your beads, they should still um, sit next to each other rather than move around a little bit. Oh, Bridget says, I made it with jump rings, but I have to say the split rings is probably much better. See, this is why it's really lovely to have a group like this in a community to share those ideas because, you know, I can show you a method and a project um, and other people will try, you know, different things with it will be able to recommend what works, what works better. You can improve on the design, so you can put your own take on it. Um, I must say, some of the donut pendants that I've seen you make have been unreal. They are, you know, some of you are like first time wire wrappers. Um, and, you, I, you know, I'm not just saying it. I think you've got an awful, there's so much talent in this group. Some of you have got an awful, just abundance of, of natural ability. Um, it makes me very, very proud to see how you can take an idea and just make it better. <laughs> so I love, I love having um, the handmade group that you can share your work in. Um, you know, I, I love getting messages from you as well. I've got, I'm always in the handmade group, but I've also got um, an Ashley Pattern wire artist page that a lot of you, um, you know, come and chat and things on. I'll always share the links to the tutorials that we do for Totally Beads on there. So you can catch up that way as well if you want to. Diane says, I just wish there were two colours of blue instead of the charcoal colour. Diane, there are other blue miracle beads. Um, I was looking at putting that colourway together. At the time, I don't know whether we have them in stock now, but I think we were missing the aqua in 8mm, if I remember correctly. So, if you bear with me... There is an abundance of Miracle Bead colours. So if you want to make your own colours in your own kit, you could have a little look on the website and you could look for these ones too. Um, I'm not too sure on the specific colours, but they are different to the blues that we've put in this kit. So by all means, if you want to have a little look, I didn't put that colour away together because at the time I was waiting on stock for, I think it was the 8mm Aqua, um, but they might have that in now. I don't know. Have a little look. Uh, Mandy says, if you use the brown one, um, you're doing, it would be nice for autumn. It would. Yeah, you could add the browns into this one as well. See, this is another thing. I love everybody's, you know, take on colour preferences. I always say that, especially with Kitty. When we're down at the warehouse together, I'll be putting colourways together and she'll just come over and she'll just pop something down. Um, she watches me from afar. And I'll be like, oh, oh, I never anticipated that would look as good as it does. And she'll just, you know, bring out warmer tones or cooler colours and just adding that something extra in that you wouldn't always consider. Um, yeah, it's nice to see people's take. We've all got our own eye for things and what we think looks nice. So by all means, check out the Miracle Bead section, have a little look at the different colors. 
if you want to add extra in or if you want to buy a couple of these kits they're only £12.50 you're going to get everything you need it will be more cost effective obviously to buy it in the kit than buying everything individually the Simon always puts that discount on so I think if you were to buy all of your rat tail um, all of the different sizes in the different colour miracle beads and all your packs of your split rings and your clasps it's going to be at least £15 um, so Simon's put a really good discount on for those kits today to make it down to £12.50 for you but you might think well I've got this that and the other I just want to buy extra miracle beads or an extra colour or whatever it is um, you, you won't need any more rat tail, I can tell you that, because the hanks are really long. I mean, I've I've made two already with a generous amount of the rat tail, and I've got an abundance of it still sitting next to me. Um, Nicole says tiger tail in gold would look great with those miracle beads. That's a good idea, Nicole. Um, Diane says, do you put the, sm the small bead on inside to get the curve? What I've done, Diane, is I've changed up the sizes. So we've got the six, then graduating into the eight, and then the six. This will curve anyway because you know it's a nice soft rat tail but that's because of the different sizes it is going to give you that natural curve i'm not putting the smaller ones in the middle i'm just putting the larger ones together in the middle so you don't have to just put the six mil in the top row if that makes sense to you i'm just graduating them down in size and then bringing them back up again but you can try that if you want to um it's already going to give that natural curve and it sits really nicely but if you want to add the smaller and the large one, you can do it. It'll probably just give you a slightly different angle on that kind of trellis look. Elaine is asking, could you use Fireline or Tiger Tail instead? You could try. Yes, I think that would probably work. Personally, I love the rat tail. It's, it's very bright and vivid in colour. I think it really complements the beads nicely. Um, it's also really soft to use and it makes sure you have the easiest clasp to make and to put on because you're just not in. Um, but if you want to try it using one of those options, again, I'd very much love to see how it looks and your take on it. <laughs> Paula says, oh, you're so wise. I won't put myself on a ban. Don't pull out, honestly, just makes it worse, just makes you feel even more guilty. <laughs> just enjoy it for what it is. You know, not many of us have surplus cash, do we, in this day and age. But, as I say, you can make yourself lovely things. If I was to buy one of these necklaces, it would cost me a lot more than £12.50. I'm now going to have enough left over to be able to make myself a matching bracelet as well. So, yeah, just don't put yourself on a ban. Just keep, I always say, think about how much you're saving rather than what you're spending. <laughs> Yeah, Tina said uh, to Diane, no, it's the split rings that curve it. If you look, she started with the six and then went up a size in the middle. I did, yeah. So I'm probably very slow answering your questions today. Um, I've still got loads to scroll down to. Sue has made a very valid point. This is me all over, Sue. Plus, you always have to buy enough to get the free postage. If you are in the UK, um, depending on the weight of your parcel, I'm pretty sure if you spend over £30, you get free delivery. And that, too, is always my thing. So I'll buy stuff. Now, you know, I might buy this kit and then I might buy something else and I'll think, oh, I'm only up to 24 Well, 
for what I'm going to pay on postage, I might as well get myself some extra things. And then again, I feel like I'm saving the money on the postage for whatever the postage is, you know, say it was three pounds something. You think of all the things you can get with that. <laughs> I can invest in some nice new long eye needles for a start. <laughs> Elaine says, are you making a necklace or a bracelet today? I'm making a necklace. That's why it's taking me that little bit longer. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna finish up soon, I think, because I am a bit concerned on time. Though I am enjoying myself. I'm quite happy to just sit here and add on all the, bracelet, uh, the beads. I have um, added on less of the 8mm miracles that I usually would. I usually add on about 23 of those. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. You can, you know, just add more if you want to make it longer. Um, usually if I do, I would say 25 of the 6mm, 23 of the 8mm and 25 again of the 6mm, that gives me about a 16 inch necklace um, all I want to make sure is I use the same amount of the six mil coming back up if I can put that in the middle because it's that that's going to give me my balance that's what's going to make it sit even I don't want it to be sitting wonky like this around my neck so let's see how many I've put on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm going to add an extra five onto there. All I'm doing is just popping one onto the bottom, split ring, on to both and one again onto the top oh joanne says i did manage to sell one of my makes the guitar wrap it felt so good that was amazing joanne i've seen I've seen it done before. Yours was beautiful. I haven't made one myself. It was on my to-do list. Um, yeah, so Joanne made a gorgeous pendant in the shape of the guitar using, I don't know what gemstone it was that you used, Joanne. Um, I can't remember, but it just looked amazing. If you've got any music lovers in your life, I know Hannah um, is also a musician and she makes lovely little musical note jewellery. I've seen you've done some like little treble claps. We did a donut. Um, I did a donut with you, oh, ages ago. It was probably about a year ago now. Um, and that was using the opaline beads and we wrapped the little beads around the side of that. Um, and Hannah, I think you made yours into like a treble cleft design on the front, didn't you? And that looked awesome as well. So um, it's lovely if, you know, something like that, Joanne, would definitely sell because you're going to have music lovers as well as jewellery lovers. Um, so you're, you know, you're expanding your market there. Right, let me do another count. I think that might be right, given the fact I'm finishing with a yellow. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I've added an extra one on, have I? Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, because I started with the red. So... Just all I'm doing there is just curving it just to check how it sits lengthwise. I actually think I am going to take that last one off. It is going to be much smaller because I've not added on as many miracle beads of the 8mm into the centre there just for time. So let me see what have I missed? 
how many of each for a bracelet or small beads then if no large and small says tina you can um you could do it with the small and the large ones as well tina you can use the six mil and the eight mil in there if you want to you, uh, to be honest i don't know it's going to be dependent on the, the length that you want what i would do is if you are just going to use the six mil just continue to do this find the length that you want by popping it round your wrist and then you'll know there thereabouts how many you've added on what i'm going to show you now while i'm doing the um clasp is how you can extend this and make it a little bit longer so i'm shaping it as i want just to check it's all lovely which it is and then i'm gonna take my two strands that i've got left i've got quite a lot of length there i'm just going to do the same as i did before i'm going to do my overhand knot i'm going to bring it close down to that last bead so i just do this slowly and i'm just pushing it with my fingers pulling it through with these fingers here if i need to make that tighter I can just unpick it. You can also pop a needle in if you want while you slide that. So I am just going to make that a little bit closer to that bead. So as you can see, if you have a pin, you can pop your pin let's get that in the middle so you can see what i'm doing you can pop your pin where you want it to go and then give it a slide that way as well i tend to just push it down with my fingers so it's quite snug to that last bead okay so i've got two open ends i'm just going to pop that around my flower clasp and then I'm going to do another overhand knot. And I'm going to slide that down a little bit. I find it much easier to do lying it flat than lifting it up personally. And then I know because I've wrapped it around there already that I'm going to be able to get that flower in and out of that knot with ease if i need to i can just adjust it but that will come in and out of there should do now if i want to make it longer and adjustable all i'm going to do is just repeat that process so after the first knot i've done i'm just going to do another one and then if i want to make it smaller or larger i can just choose whichever hole i want to add it into so i will do another one again just going to slide that up fairly close to my toggle or my flower and then i know i can get that in and back out again and what i like to do just to finish off the ends just to make it a little bit pretty is just choose a couple of the six mil beads you can add one you could add three you can do whatever you like and i'm just going to thread on i'll do a few actually i'm going to do three so I'll continue that colour pattern, yellow, orange and red. And then all I'm going to do is tie a little knot. See, this is why I love using the rat tail, because it's so easy. You know, if I was doing this with tiger tail, I'd have to crimp bead this and whatnot. And then all I'm going to do is take my scissors and just give that a little trim. 
and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Um, Lucy says, yes, blame me, Natalie, I don't mind at all. We are only 10 minutes over. Elaine says, I've done all my housework. I've been up since half six. Well, Elaine, I'm very impressed. Um, <laughs> Lucy agrees. She says, I wish I was that motivated. Um, Brenda says, pink, green and purple. Are they the colours that you're going to go for? Um, Elaine says, these light mornings have her wide awake. Um, Lucy agrees. There's amazing wire ladies in the group now. Oh, thank you, Paula. She says, it's because I'm a good teacher. Well, I'm still learning too. We're all learning together. Um, oh, thank you very much. Lucy has shared the link for my page. So I share all of the Totally Bead makes in this group. Um, and sometimes I'll add little extra bits and bobs in there as well. Um, it's not my personal wire one. I've got... Um, the personal makes I make is called Rock Scissors Paper. Um, I've got an Instagram and I've got a Facebook there as well. But all the Totally Bead makes that I do, I share on that page there that Lucy shared the link for. Um, Elaine says, I've ordered the glass pearl bundle, so I might try it with those. Oh, that'd be lovely. Um, Kitty has a natural flair with colours, says Tina. She really does. Um... Do you have to use Rectail, says Elaine? No, but it's my choice. I prefer this way um, for this make, but no, it's, that's up to you, I suppose. Um, oh, there's so many conversations going on that I've missed. I'm gonna have to sit back and read the comments later. I hope I've not missed any questions. Um, Joe says, oh good, you're still on. I've just finished my client. I'll watch back from the start later. Joe, we should have finished like 15 minutes ago, but I said, well, we can't go until you arrive. So we've been waiting on you. <laughs> I'm really joking. Everyone's saying hello to you, Miss Rainbow. Um, yeah, there's so much. I'm going to have to watch this back and read the comments because, gosh, I've been delayed, haven't I? And um, <laughs> I've been very delayed in, in catching up with what you're saying. Lucy it has kindly shared my page for my personal make, so thank you for that, Lucy. Right, okay, so there you have it. It's much smaller than it would usually be, um, but I think just adding those little extras onto the end just gives that gorgeous bit of detail. If I show you one I have made earlier, which I think I've added the right amount of beads onto. In fact, I'm going to put the pink one on because it's going to go with my jumper. They're all just so lovely. All right, let me show you how easy it is to put one of these on. She says. So, all I'm doing is popping my little flower through that little loop that we made. I'm not going to be able to get this on now. Oh my goodness, look at the rain. Is it really raining where everybody else is? Um, Tina says, a great demo, Natalie. Thank you. And the team again, fabulous. You are most welcome. Um, now, I have made this quite small. But it just pops through like this. I have got a necklace on, so I've now got myself all caught up in my necklace that I'm wearing. So this one is nice and short and it fits just on my collar line. This is the wrong top to wear. And as I say, I am tangled up in my necklace, but they are very, very sweet. I will put them back on the bust because I think they look better there. So these are your gorgeous, gorgeous necklaces today. As I said, if you are to make more than one, then some of these colours look absolutely stunning together. If you wanted to wear two at once and make a multi-strand one, you could possibly make them slightly longer in length so they would kind of sit below each other. They're absolutely gorgeous. I think this is the one I've just made now. They look like sweeties. 
but you just can't see the colours properly on this. So thank you for being patient with me today and staying that little bit longer with me. Um, you all seem to enjoy it. I've still got loads of you here, which is gorgeous. So Lucy says they're very pretty. She loves the pink. Rebecca says she loves them all. Um, oh, Joanne, you are very, very kind. She says, um, so pretty. Well done on another fantastic tutorial, Natalie. Yes, it's raining. So beading and wire work for me today. Have a blessed day all. That sounds like my absolute perfect day, Joanne. Um, I am going to go and watch this back. So if I have missed any questions or any comments, I'll, I'll respond back to you then. Um, you are very welcome, Camille. Thank you so much. Uh, jo says she really likes this. She's got uh, some beading time now, so I'm going to give this a go. It's really, really easy to do, Jo. I was just chit-chatting, so I spent a little bit longer um, than usual. Um yeah, thank you for spending time with me. So I hope you all have a... Uh, <laughs> Tina, you do make me laugh. She's put... Where have you gone? Thank you, Nicole. Where's Tina's comment? She says, we won't leave until you kick us off. Well, I'm just really pleased that Facebook hasn't kicked us off. Um, right, so I am going to be back with you on Friday. I'm going to be making some um, bracelets with you on Friday. They're a really nice make. I'm going to be using um, two connectors. We're going to be making like multi-strand ones. They're very easy to do. Um, I hope you come back and you join me for that. And I can promise you I will be done within the hour for that one. So have a lovely, lovely rest of the day. Stay in, stay warm, stay dry. And I will see you on Friday. Lots of love and light to you all. Thank you for being with me. Bye.